Thanks for tuning in today guys. I'm gonna show you today how to install a alarm system for the E90. Let's get to it. So what you gotta do, just sit in the back, pull it towards you and pull it down and it'll come out. Squeeze right here and right here, and it's gotta come. Okay, we got it. <clears throat> so now, what we gotta do is, you're gonna put this right here. You'll just pop in. You'll hear it cl click. Let's uh, unplug this so we can make it easier. You know, okay. So here it is, this is what you gotta do. This side is gonna go down, okay? There you go. That's it. So now what you gotta do is take this plug, the black one, and just plug it back in. And then we're gonna put this one back. All right. The easiest way to check if your BMW is pre-wired is when you pull this off, if you have this one plugged in here on a side, that means you're pre-wired for your retrofit alarm system if you don't have it then you're not you would have to do the wiring and it's honestly not worth even doing it alrighty so now you're gonna put it back what you gotta do is put that up there and just push it in that's it you're all done inside of here now All right, so now what we gotta do is install the siren and it's driver's side wheel well. So we gotta pull off the wheel. So what you gotta do is take these out. There's uh, I believe five of them. And then you got three of the eight mil. And this is gonna come down. We don't need to take it off totally because the uh, siren goes right here. So let's take this off. Okay, this is where the alarm is gonna go. So it's pretty simple to do, like I told you guys. Okay, so this is the one that's gonna go in the wheel well. I don't have the bracket for this, so what I'm gonna do is make me one. When you order this on eBay or used, whatever, you can ask them if they have the bracket I forgot about it so what I'm gonna do is just make one it's pretty simple I will show you once I'm done all right guys so I made the bracket it's not looking pretty but whatever you won't be able to see it anyway so I'm gonna put this like this and I'm gonna use a nut put it right here okay and then what I'm going to do is, I mean, this is just the cover, you know, so the water doesn't get directly onto it. It shouldn't, but this is going to go like that. I'm going to go install this now, and then um, I'm going to show you 
how it looks. All right, guys, this is how it's gonna look like, as you can see. Now, this is the plug you're gonna need, which you're gonna pull it off, and then, uh, just a sec. Take this off, and then um, you have a, it's like a plug, you take this, which then you're gonna plug it inside just like that so it's plugged in now what i'm gonna do is put the plastic cover that i made myself like i said you can get the whole kit for two three hundred but i bought everything on ebay those two things and um it cost me like sixty dollars Yeah, this is the last time you're gonna see it once you put the wheel well back on. All right, all set. So you should test it out before you even put everything back together. I did that, but haven't recorded. So um, you don't need no coding or anything. You just install it and it works. So thanks for watching. Uh, Next step is installing these tires on the new wheels, so stay tuned for that.